Generic greetings, prisoner number 316112, welcome to your new incarceration facility, Mr. Mansky, I hope your stay is long and poor. However, we think that, uh, no, that's not going to be the case, we're going to try and escape as quick as we can. I've just realised that Robinson, a high-risk prisoner, is manning the reception. <laughs> Yeah, that can only go well. Yeah, just put a high-risk prisoner in in charge of the reception and searching everybody to make sure they've not got any contraband and stuff. That can only go well. I knew the budget cuts in this place were quite extreme, but putting a high-risk, dangerous prisoner in front of this is um, probably not the best message and certainly not the most efficient way to ensure that the prison is safe. Anyway, this is our Update 6 prison, something we've made over the last six episodes of the construction series, and I asked at the end of that, what do you want to do? Do you want to expand on? Do you want to finish it off better? Man, there's only really flooring to put in or would you like to start a new prison and pretty much everybody that actually mentioned it said they want to see it expanded so that's what we're going to be doing over the next several episodes of the construction series but more in that for this one we're concerned about escaping from the current build which is uh, six episodes in basically it's a finished facility apart from a couple of tweaks and changes in the floor and actually this room as well and now I've just seen it up the top as well we also need to put another laundry machine in but that I can sort that out later also and several new people, several hundred new people, have uh, just arrived on the channel because um, James Turner, aka Flabaliki, gave me a shout out in uh, his new series of Prison Architect, and um, well, plus many appreciation points for that, mate. Thank you very much, and also welcome. Um, I'm 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 pretty bad at the game. Anyway, so what we're going to do is try and escape from this thing. Now, I must confess, this is not exactly like the prison that you've seen in the construction series because it would be impossible to escape via digging. The reason for that is, as you can see there are two uh, two metal detectors in boxes there and the reason they're in boxes is because I've actually dismantled them before loading this up I thought what is the best way of escaping from this facility well the most interesting is to dig out because it's actually the biggest weakness of the prison as you can see we get put very close to the wall and it isn't a perimeter wall so if we get put in this cell here which it looks like we're going to there anyway we only need to dig one two three four, five, six, seven spaces, most of it, or at least three parts under very, very soft ground, and the rest under not particularly difficult ground, to actually get out. So it's not actually really that difficult to escape from this thing by digging. Slight problem, there isn't a workshop, there isn't a... I guess there isn't a... Why is this not closed up? What's happening here? Okay, I'm now getting taken to a new cell! <laughs> Oh, sorry, sorry. Did I did I do something bad? I mean, what what was wrong with that one? Ah, uh, good old game. Uh, anyway, yeah, it's um, it, you know, we, we don't have a workshop, we don't have a, a forestry area, so we can't steal any real digging implements. The only you know, oh, there's there's uh, Robinson going back with all the contraband he's probably taken from uh, the reception there, and um. Yeah, we, the only real way to escape is to use spoons. Now, I've never dug with spoons, so the object was to dig out with spoons. That's what I wanted to do. So we're going to have to go inside the kitchen, steal some spoons, and then start digging and see how long it takes. We're going to try and do a bit of a pacifist run. Obviously, the only real way uh, to get a good amount of rep points, which you use for reputation and uh, getting other people into your gang, uh, the only way really real, uh, the only real way to do that efficiently is to do violence and. Uh, you know, punch people in the face, hit guards, uh, set fire to things, or, you know, just generally hit um, other... Look at that guy. When you actually mouse over it, they actually sort of look towards you, which is really... Look at the neck snapping. Snap, snap, snap. Uh, yeah, that looks like there's some violence in there. Miller's not too happy, and um, I like the way that they're... they're I was just, they were just escorting me here, and it's only when I looked in there that they went, ah, that, that, that guy shouldn't see that. Uh, quickly, fix it. Anyway. Yeah, so the, the only way, real way to get these rep points realistically is to be vulnerable. but we don't really want to do that. Let's just click sleep, and then we'll uh, go to the morn. There we go. So we can now head off, and we can see what we can do. So the object is to nick as many spoons as I can. Obviously, I can only really carry the two. Now, I could, if I wanted to, start hiring some other people, but the only real way to do that, as I said before, is to... Um, is to get, you know, rep points via violence. So I don't want to do that. It'll be a solo escape, and uh, let's see what happens. So I'm going to go into the kitchen. All of this has not been changed. The only thing that's been changed, as far as I can remember, is the top and bottom metal detectors. But this bit on the right here was originally staff only, but when I loaded the save, it wasn't. And I think that's because I did change a couple of the rooms, and it must have changed the designation. Also, this doesn't have a door on it, as you can see. So, uh, yeah, that, that's probably what's going to happen there. That's probably what's happened there. So that's actually not too bad. There's one unit of spoon, otherwise known as a digging implement, and we will 
just head around here and we need to look for the other one because once you pick one up it should respawn i say should we'll see what happens so let's have a quick run around run across all the freezers here now it's currently free time there's a fork no, we don't want a fork, we want a spoon. Can we we could go out there, I think because you can get spoons outside here. But that's a knife, we don't want a knife. Nah, looks like it's not happening. Like I say, we do want a another spoon, and I think you can get them in here. But because it's so large this area, it the only one spawns at any one time, and because there's no trading in the escape mode, it means that realistically you have to nick everything yourself. So trying to find it is gonna be a Bit, it's a bit of a nightmare to be completely honest with you. We'll have a, we'll have one rummage around and if we can't find it Then I'm not really gonna worry too much about it. I could just shank this guy in the ear with a spoon Why is that the first place I go? That's not not healthy at all, right? So rummaging around running around That's an armed guard. We really don't want to upset him and then Around here the reason I'm going up and down is to try and maximize my visibility But obviously I'm leaving little gaps where I'm going up and down anyway so it doesn't really work that way but I can't find it we've done a full lap and I can't see it so that's it we're not gonna bother with it so problem I have is that this is a metal spoon if I go out there it's going to it's going to cause the metal detectors to go off so what I'm what I'm gonna hopefully do is go in here and as you can see it's not stopping me and then through here and then from this point onwards it is a straight shot back up to my cell all right this is good uh parolers i don't think there's anything in there we could nick i think this is the only way we can dig out by stealing spoons and i'm i've never dug out with spoons never never tried it as far as i can recall anyway maybe there's been an attempt to, to um i've done at one point there's a facing game uh but i don't i, I can't recall anyway so i want to dig from here slight problem there's a guard outside. Now, I can't realistically start now. I'm going to wait for him to finish the patrol. Speed up to max speed and stand here as if I'm on the toilet. You alright, guard? Um, just to let you know, I am going to be digging with this spoon here. See the one I'm holding? This one. Slap, slap, slap in his face. No, this spoon? Don't care. I wouldn't either. Right, so, looks like the janitor, you didn't see nothing, has just delivered some mail, and I'm going to start digging. So, right click to enter tunnel, there we go, and then we need to start digging. So, hang on, hang on, we're in there, and then, there we go, there's some digging. Come on, and this takes a while. Obviously, it's under concrete, so that's why this will take quite some time. Now, the, one of the other problems is that the the warden that we picked, Periwinkle, their dogs have a, a much higher chance of finding tunnels. So I know that from this point onwards, it's not all safe. I mean, it's ne there's never such thing as there's no, there's not such thing as a safe thing anywhere. But what I mean is that there we go. We're now actually out. So I'm gonna have to jump up the tunnel. The problem is that I don't know who's out here. I'm guessing. Ah, shite. That's exactly what I was afraid of. So, um, I'm going to give up. I'm just going to put my hands up. I've been caught red-handed. I came out of the tunnel just as the card was coming along. Oh, that is unfortunate. Right, so we're going to... I guess we'll... Four hours. We'll skip the punishment because I really can't wait for that. And the tunnel is still there. And then I'm going to head out again. Right, so it's still lock up apparently. But uh, I don't really care about that. I'm just going to keep running. Because I really want to get some more spoons. And they, they, you can see the guards after me. And they're probably going to take me back, aren't they? Yes, they're going to take me back. You can outrun the guards. <laughs> but it's not, it's not really classed as a bad thing when, um, you, when you run away. And they're going to take me here for lock up. But as soon as they take me there, I'm going to go out. Because it's no longer lock up. There we go. So, they have... Filled my tunnel in. That was that was uh, totally uh, unfortunate. I mean, I did say that there's no such thing as a safe, as a safe way of uh, escaping, really. And uh, I think I just sort of proved that. I'm just running around looking for another spoon here, and if I can find one, I don't know if that's going to be. Oh, that's a knife. And no, I know it's really, really blurry and stuff, but I'm just trying to maximise my search. Come on, all the way around here. Looks like there's some shotgun goings on. Do you hear that? I had, a, I had a shotgun going off. You would think spoons, if you're going to nick them from anywhere. 
would be uh, around these areas, the serving trays and such. There we go. Two spoons! Right, so out here, out there, and then up this way. Right, that's dead. That was a dead prisoner coming out there. That's a bit dangerous. I didn't expect that. Right, so, uh, normal speed. So, once this guard buggers off, we can hopefully start digging again. Okay. So, we've got two spoons. Whether or not this will take us all the way on the outside, we will see. Issue here is that, as I said, Periwinkle's dogs are much more efficient at detecting things. And I don't know... Just like I didn't know that that guard was outside earlier, I don't know where the dogs are. So I can either attempt it now and go in for it now, knowing I've got two spoons, which should should get me out now that I think about it, actually. Uh, if it's going to take all these spoons to go this far, and this is under concrete, the, the next three are just dirt, so it should be quite easy to do. So there's that dug out. Use this spoon to dig here, and then once this is the... This is, should be the easy part now. This should just be one... And then this two, three. There you go. That's that's actually simple. And right click. And I don't actually want to. I don't want to. How do you dig up? Uh, dig, hold left click. That's stash contraband. I don't want to stash contraband. I want to dig out, please. Um, help. Uh. Right. I've just made a. I've just made a circle now, which is the great shame of this. <laughs> Normally it tells me. Uh, oh, right-click to dig up. No. Come on. Uh, right-click to dig up. There we go. And... Done. Quite simple, actually. That one. That was... Relatively easy. Total score, 11. Time taken, 23 hours and 39 minutes. Efficient. Efficient. I mean, the score was crap, and we've got no victims, which is, you could say, good. But, it's actually worrying just how easy that was. I mean, obviously, in my in my prison, the proper construction one, their metal detectors are in place. So, you've got a level of security. And I do full searches every other night. So, yeah, fair enough. That's not actually that bad, but that's surprising, that. That's just surprising just how easy it is to dig out of that. I don't know if I've found any tunnels in the in the last construction series, but I'm getting a bit paranoid now that actually I should probably do more searches because with two spoons that I took out from the kitchen, which bear in mind that that is open for anyone because the people work there, if they sneak out with that or smuggle stuff in, that's a very easy escape. Hmm. It's going to be a lot difficult when I expand it up, like up, down, left, right, because the cell box is going to be nowhere near the edge because we've expanded it, but it's still worrying. Either way, that's a very quick escape. Next episode will be the construction series, and as always, your comments will be used to feed the, uh, the build, etc. So, by all means, let me know what you think. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.